to back, you feel me? <laughs> you thought you were getting another guest? No, you're not. You're getting me again, boys. <laughs> Fun fact, we were actually supposed to shoot this on Wednesday, but Carlos didn't watch Squid Game. I know, that's why. I yeah. But I just I just finished it. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. It's, it's a solid, it's a, like a 9 out of 10. I wouldn't say it's amazing. Mm -hmm. You think it's amazing? Because I don't watch a lot of shows. So for this, yeah. this is this is like 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10. So. Mm -hmm. I feel it's, it's something we've seen before, but it's like... It's done really well. Did That's we, what it is. Did we see it before? No, nah, because look at Hunger Games. Look at um Battle Royale. Yeah, we've seen shit like this okay, before. Yeah, you're right. And remember, um, I think it was in the the past episode. Mm. I said I said something about dark web game shows. Remember that? Oh yeah. This is literally the Korean version of a dark web game show. Where? So remember, I was mm. like, yo, and wipe. They would have like a wipeout type game with like yeah. the big red bouncy balls. Oh, I remember that. Exactly. And then when they fall, they die. Mm. The fourth game in the Squid Game. That's that's literally it. Oh, the 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 bridge. The glass. The glass. The bridge and glass. And then you yeah. die. Yo, I don't think I'm surviving that fucking shit, bro. <laughs> nah, you. I definitely would. If, okay. That that glass game. Yeah. You're dying. No, you just walk in the metal bars. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Th th this is how you beat the glass game, though, right? So they take. They tell you to take off your shoes, right? Yeah. But they didn't. They don't tell you anything else. Like you're allowed you to use bring them. them. Yeah, you're allowed uh, to use them. True. So just throw the shoes. Maybe that was part of it. Like you, you got to leave it there because you might throw it. Nah, I'll see, bring he brought the bar the marble yeah, in his pocket. He brought the marble. Yeah. So you're allowed to do anything. True. Spoiler alert. But we're gonna oh, be yeah, talking a lot of, a lot about Squid Game. So Facts. if you haven't watched it already, Facts. maybe you don't listen to this first half. <laughs> <laughs> just skip it. But to be honest, I think everyone that shit's on my t TikTok like for you page hunting my shit down. I don't know how like, how why did it blow up like that? That's crazy. It's like viral viral right yeah. now. It's it's the girl. I'm Loki Saviuk. Oh yeah, Saviuk so far. Yeah, fam. she's mad pretty. That's everyone. Everyone's simping for her, fam. That, that's why people are watching though. Yeah, because honestly, that's why. That's why Addison Rae's so famous. Mm -hmm. I mean, Charlie D'Amelio. So, to be honest, mm -hmm. whatever. If someone has a pretty face, yeah, that shit is like cheat codes, bro. Yeah, because. Addison Rae's a movie that came out yeah. so bad, fam. It was it okay. Was I'm, so I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. It was it was bad, but it was like. <laughs> it was comparable to a family channel yeah, or a Disney like, yeah, channel yeah. movie. Like the the ones with like the laugh tracks, like the cringy jokes. Yeah, it's yeah. It's not it's not shit. Mm -hmm. But it's like we seen we seen certain but because it's Addison Ray, <laughs> exactly. It got they want to hate on it even more. That's yeah, why. For sure. Remember, did you see Dixie D'Amelio? I think that was her Yeah, I think she, that was her. She was on a, a TV show and then she was just crying. Oh, in yeah. She's like, bro, I, I get so much pressure. Like I just posted myself after the gym and they're telling me to I'm mm. fat, like, bro. No, she's like, she's must. Oh yeah, she's he said that. Yeah, bro, it, it it sucks, but that's what comes with it, right? Yeah, that's the that's the price you take. I like know. if you want to be that famous, if you want to have that sort of attention, mm -hmm. that's the curse that comes with it. Yeah, as much benefit as it gives you, there's a curse that comes with it too. It's scary, fam. Cause that's that's a lot of pressure. A lot of people looking at you, but can, you can't even really put it aside. Cause you, social media is your life at that point. Yeah, and that's where I do, I don't want it to like go to. But how do you stop that? Though? <laughs> you can't stop it. You can't, <laughs> you can't stop it. if you choose to be in there. You, you yeah. chose to be there, right? I, like, I remember. Uh, did you go to those assemblies in elementary school where they're doing cyberbullying? And they're like the number one <laughs> thing. The number one thing is to to just close your computer, right? <laughs> then I would I would just when I see something bad, I was just like. Nah, that's real shit though. Yeah, but I would always go back to it. You feel know I me? Mean? Yeah, I know. It, it sucks because um, I think it was it was Tyler the Creator. He's like oh. cyberbullying. Close your eyes, <laughs> like that ass. That's what it is. Not real shit. But I do feel for people that do get made fun of online mm -hmm. because when you are attached to that, like you feel like you're a part of this community, yeah. and it feels like you're pushed away. Yeah. Then you get that sense of man, they don't like me, right? Mm -hmm. It's just like it's just like you get left out in a game. I know. In recess, whatever. It's the same shit. Yeah. It's the same shit. It's like, just online. Yeah. Were you ever the last pick? Like, okay, say we had a basketball game. Were you ever like the last pick? I mean, I'm shit at basketball, but like yeah, I was yeah. never the last. Pick, yeah, because I, I remember um, in elementary school, I was always the first pick, first pick, yeah. right? But then I stopped playing basketball for a while, and then I got like me and my friends were playing recently, mm -hmm. and I was the last pick, and I was like, damn, my ego kind of got like just that little bit. <laughs> my ego got shot a bit. I'm really? like, really, god damn, am but, I that bad? But I don't think it's that serious, bro. To La me, that to me, it hurt, fam. Being a last pick, but yeah. what if what if they're just closer to those people? I don't. It's know, not. Man. It's not your skill. Nah, okay, serious. what hurts more? Is it? Is it? Judgment over skill or judgment over character? Judgment over skill, one hundred percent. Judgment over skill. Because if you're if you you're saying that I'm trash in general, mm. I'd like basketball. No way, bro. I'm. I'll, <laughs> that's one v one right now. That, yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. my ego gets mm. right. But I don't know. What is it for you? I th I think it's it's more person. I like. Oh, I don't want him on my team. He 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 talks too much shit. Whatever. It's oh, like if it's like character? that, then it's different. It's different. Yeah. But I think skill. 
It makes sense. I think it makes mm. sense because I don't want no. You know, look in look in Squid Game. Yeah, you mean they they didn't want the girls on on the tug of war team because yeah. they're not as strong. It makes sense. Yeah, but some girls are mad strong. I'm not, I'm not you know. Yeah, I <laughs> I'm know. saying they can't be strong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if it was me, you, and you get to choose three other guests that's been on this podcast to go against the stronger guys, who would you choose? Mm. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Probably Denzel. He's big. <laughs> yeah, Denzel. He's big. <laughs> Denzel. K. Shorts. <laughs> K Show Time's big too. Oh yeah, facts. Now we're winning. If I have K Show Time on me team, we're we're winning, bro. For real? We just keep talking shit to the other side uh, and be like, oh, I can't hold it. <laughs> nah, nah, I don't think that would work. Who yes, else? it would, fam. It's we, all in it's all in the mind, bro. It's 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 all a it's all a mind game. Oh, and then we get Sasha to cast a spell. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's all a mind game, bro. A lie. Because remember, I think I told you this before, but mm -hmm. Manny Pacquiao's fights. Yeah. His mom would be in like the oh, side and praying. No casting spells yeah, bro yeah. she's casting spells in the corner she's mm -hmm. like bring a lot <laughs> <laughs> every fight it would hit, be her with a rosary fam bro i'm telling you if i was fighting somebody and i seen their mom in the corner of the ring yeah. doing that my my ego is dead really like if i see somebody casting spells on me i'm gonna be thinking about that i'm not gonna cap word <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but, but when you have people praying for you you do get an extra of energy. course yeah for of sure. course that's why it's all it's a mind game for them and for you yeah it's like yeah yeah I, I got this special secret weapon. They don't know about that. And I really like the old boxing because I, mm. I watched the Mayweather and um Sugar Mosley fight. Yeah. And before when they were hopping around, like saying their names, like in this corner, all of their boys were in their corner hyping mm. them. It's go time. Yeah. Let's go. Right. And like that shit don't happen now. Like there's barely anyone in the ring. Yeah. I, I think uh, I don't know why. But I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they still do it, especially for the walk-in. For the walk-in, okay, yeah, for the walk-in. But when mm -hmm. you're you're facing your opponent, you have your gang versus their gang. It's 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 a different atmosphere still. I guess so. Yeah, that's true. That's pretty <laughs> you know? sick. That's pretty yeah. sick. That's like some um some like street fighter shit. Yeah, yeah. Because I was like, yo, we've never got into a fight in high school. But what if I was like in your corner, like, let's go, Carlo? Like, that would be fire. <laughs> that would be pretty sick. Yeah. That would be pretty sick. But in high school, like, no one messed with us type thing. Nobody wanted to fight in high school like that because I feel like. I don't know. I I think I think it's because for me, yeah. I never went out of my way to start a beef or I'm I'm very like understanding person. Yeah. And if someone's mad, I'll just laugh at them to be honest. Yeah, that's true. Cuz unless they if they can talk as much shit as they want <laughs> until they actually throw the punch in there, they know they're fucked like. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of that, I think the only game that I would lose in Squid Game mm. would be that one where they just where the lights go off and they just st start killing everyone. Oh. Like I would actually lose to a game, I would lose to like man's killing me. Like the prison type yeah. type beat. <laughs> you would definitely survive that shit. <laughs> nah, yo. If I was in that, yeah. yo even I was think I was putting myself in the position of the games right okay, like yeah. yo, okay what can i do to like outsmart it yeah right you know the the ending uh, okay spoiler alert, yeah, spoiler alert you know the ending <laughs> mm -hmm. where um they have to just it's just hand-to-hand -hand combat right yeah bro first thing i would do mm -hmm. is take off my shirt and my jacket and my shoes mm -hmm. right that's smart because if you think about it, if somebody grabs you, it's yeah. easy to grab clothing. Mm -hmm. It's harder to grab your skin. That's why in street fights, you always see those you mans on Roadstar take, yeah. take off their shirt. I never got that at first. It's not to look cool. It's yeah. because so they can't they can't grapple with you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, what I would have done, I would have tied up that jacket, yeah. put my shoes in a sleeve, tied up the sleeve, and use it as a flail. And use that as flail? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. distance, too. right? Distance. Yeah. And I don't know why they didn't do this, because I guess for a dramatic effect, yeah. if you just do straight front kicks to them, side kicks or whatever, yeah. and push them out of the thing, they would have won. I mean, you can <laughs> dodge those. Like I do Taekwondo and I get like frontline kicks all the time. Yeah. You can just go around it. What? But what I didn't get was, was when he was on the ground already, when Sangu was on the ground, yeah. why did he just win? Like, like he went back and like started hitting him. Like he, j I guess he wanted to kill him. Yeah, probably. Yeah. They probably just cheese at each other. I guess. Okay, but yo, I got this. I got, there's this crazy theory mm -hmm. that all the deaths in Squid Game were foreshadowed earlier in the episode. Oh. Okay, yo. So listen. Yeah. Okay, so the first one, the gangster, right? Mm -hmm. So when he was put out in the real world, he was getting chased by all his like debt collectors, yeah. and he jumped off a bridge. How did he die? He he fell down off a off a oh, high hill. Oh shit! Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, listen, listen, <laughs> listen. So Sabio, yeah. right? When she went back in the real world, she put a knife to the broker's neck. And was like, don't ever do this to me again. Oh, How did she die? A knife to the neck. No, that's fine. A knife to the neck. Sang Woo. Yeah. Right? So when he went back in the real world, he was chilling in the bathtub, about to commit suicide and drown himself. Yeah. How did he die? Suicide. Oh, shit. Yeah, he did. 
commit suicide. Yeah. Now, last one, Ali, right? Yeah. When he went back in the real world, he took money from his boss and ran away. How did he die? Sang Wu took his marbles and Yo, ran away. What the <laughs> that fuck? Shit in. Let's go. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Because. <laughs> That, that's that's some real like director shit yeah. bro yeah they planned all of that shit in the beginning yeah that's so sick because dog i didn't even realize <laughs> that i didn't even realize that shit i knew that would, that, that would hit hard because i i love hearing that stuff because it mm -hmm. makes it makes it better bro yeah it makes it better because you see all the details and shit facts bro because like I, I did you did you expect the grandpa or the great the, like, the old man being the the game creator did you expect that plot twist nah i yeah. didn't i didn't expect it but i can see after you know what i mean yeah like when when they reveal it i'm like oh shit now i'm looking back yeah it, it, that's what i'm saying it makes it better because mm -hmm. you you realize those details like when when he was gonna get killed when he was yeah. getting shot yeah. i noticed the shot of the camera it panned yeah. away it didn't show him getting shot like mm -hmm. it didn't show the grandpa getting killed yeah yeah so i'm like oh interesting yeah. right, interesting i'll keep that in the back of my I head but people that do study like cinema or just like i mean placement yeah. mm -hmm. They'll realize, oh, interesting. Maybe, maybe they might bring it back, right? Yeah, because when you told me, if the bullet, if you don't see the bullet going through the head, what happens? They're still alive, bro. That's what I'm saying. If you don't see that bullet go mm -hmm. through them or kill them on the spot, they're still alive. Yeah. Even that's what I'm saying. The cop might be alive. Yeah. Because he only got shot in the shoulder. That's such a weird place to get shot. You know yeah. I mean? Okay, yo. So this is this is my own personal theory. Yeah. Right. So there is gonna be a season two, mm. and it's gonna be Ji Hun, the cop. And, and Sabiuk's little brother, who's yeah. gonna go back and dismantle the game. Okay, so here's why. So that so you brought it up. So the cop mm -hmm. got shot in the shoulder on purpose by his brother, mm -hmm. just so they can save him later and he can go back to the game. Yeah. Right? So there was a scene where the, the worker's mask, remember, got taken off mm -hmm. and he got shot. Right? I think this was in the second game, after the second game. Yeah. I'm thinking that all the workers are young kids that they took from orphanages and oh. just raised them to be like this robotic person, mm. right? So I'm thinking Sabiuk's little brother yeah. is now going to become that. Is They're going to take him and they're going to make him a staff. Oh, they're going to recruit them. Yeah, and he's going to help. He's going to help Jihan, the main character. Yeah. Because he's like, do you know where my sister is? And they're going to go into battle together in this season two. Interesting. Well, but the, the kid's kind of young. That's the only thing. The kid's kind of young. I know. They're, they're, they might be like, yo, 17 years later. <laughs> <laughs> yo, but I heard this. I heard this crazy theory. Okay. That what if, because you know when, when all the game masters or like the VIPs came in? Yeah. Okay. One of them talked and he was like, yeah, Korea has the best set. Like they have the best one. Oh yeah. So that means there's multiple games around the world. Oh, around the world. Right. So the theory goes. Yeah. That what if there's other Squid Games around the world, and the other Squid Games could be Hunger Games, could be oh. what's that Japanese one? Alice in Borderland. Alice in Borderland, oh. and they're all connected. Oh. <laughs> And like winners from that game are, are the like staff. Yeah. Type so so they they're just they're just traveling VIPs to see all of these different games. games. Were there VIPs in Hunger Games? Like watching? Yeah, they were. They were? You forgot? I forgot. I forgot. Yeah, you you remember that iconic scene where Katniss shoots the the apple in the pig's head, and then all of those people were there, like, oh shit, look at the their sponsors. Remember? Yeah. They're betting who's gonna win, putting money on like. To help them and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So what if it's all connected, bro? Oh, and there's all these different games around the world. And then Korea is just one of them. So there yeah. might be a Canadian one. Hunger uh -huh. Games might be the American one, you know? Yeah. It might be a Mexican <laughs> one. Right? Yeah, no lie. Because after the movie, I, I was like, yo, what if they the, the next season, mm -hmm. they're going to throw uh, Squid Games, like the exact same thing, but Philippines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or like, um, I guess, uh, what do you call it? Canada type thing. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay, if they threw one in Canada, what would the games be? <laughs> in Canada, because I was thinking about this, I wanted, yeah. I wanted to do like a skip video, kind of like an RDC World type of video, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and just do like can it? Shout out to somebody in my DM. Somebody in my DM sent me it. Oh, like, word? yo, you should do this idea. I'm like, bam, I'm gonna do it. So, what, what, what are some games I thought of? Was you know Red Ass? Oh yeah, remember Red yeah, Ass yeah, yeah. with the tennis ball? <laughs> yeah, we're definitely playing that one. That's a Canadian classic. <laughs> a lie. Yo, tell me. People from America, if you ever played Red Ass, because I don't know if that's Canadian or, or it's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Because I only heard about it here. I never heard like my cousins in, in the States talk about it. Yeah. Side note on like Red Ass, my school could never play it, right? Because we yeah. had those those bricks on the thing that were like, you know those? 
where it was like crooked and there was like oh no it. it was um it was the exposed brick yeah yeah like it sticks out yeah so there would be like gaps so when you hit it this way oh uh, that way. sucks Eli, so we can never play it proper yeah what else is, there's um hopscotch <laughs> hopscotch a lot yeah you definitely could do that hopscotch um manhunt manhunt like for tag sure. freeze tag whatever musical chairs <laughs> and i was thinking even deeper i'm like okay what did i really play as a kid yeah i was thinking i was thinking Yo, really, what we played was Pokemon cards, yo. <laughs> like, you know, Pokemon cards, bro. Ima imagine, imagine you have, like, Pokemon cards, like, to the death, bro. If you lose this, like, you're dead. It's like, bro pulls out, like, a, a Pikachu, but he gets, like, a legendary one. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> no, but what's jokes is we never really played properly. Like looking back, we yeah. never really played. We never played with like the rule set. Oh, like, yeah. oh, I have a higher, I have a higher attack. Yeah. <laughs> My attack kills your shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you had that that really bad card, but it had the like a hundred attack, yeah, you win every time. Yeah, if you had like an ex card, it's <laughs> game. It's wraps, bro. If you go first, it's over, fam. Even um, you know, remember Bakugan? Bakugan, yeah, 100%. yeah. Bakugan would be in that too. Yeah. You got to play that one mm -hmm. and. Loki, you gotta do something with silly bands. Yeah. I don't know what, but silly bands were a big part of my childhood too. Oh, no, no. You know those ones where you had to actually make the, the bracelet? I don't know if you played oh, with Oh, Rainbow Loom. Rainbow Loom? Yeah. Okay, what if it's like, okay, this is a game idea. 10 minutes, you have to crochet. Oh, rain. <laughs> I forgot how to do it though. Yeah, that's the thing. I it's know. all about remembering because that's why it was so hard for them. Yeah. Because a lot of them were older mm -hmm. and then they haven't played those games in years. That's what the twist is. Because yeah. if it was a game that you just play regularly, I guess it would be easy. No, but that, that's the simplicity about it. Like the games in Squid Game were so simple, mm. but like you can still die so easy from it. Yeah, that's true. And it was cool to see that, that um, uh, you know, in the second game, the cookie cutter one. Yeah. The street vendors in Korea are getting way more business this just cause the, all the because show. of that yeah. yeah and they're probably sitting there like why is everyone now wanting to come in and like <laughs> think? you know but I, they probably didn't even raise prices like that you know what's i i think it's crazy because it's almost it's number one right number one yeah. number it's one on netflix to, it's about to become like the biggest show it surpassed stranger things yeah and, which is crazy and you know why though you know why why it's because it's popular in asia first yeah and north america because there's so much people in asia mm -hmm. that fuck with it and Stranger Things might not have that, that same, you know what I mean? Yeah. That same, that same uh, fan base. Yeah. I knew once it was here, Canada, America, and Asia, Asia it's over. <laughs> like, deadass, that's what everyone's talk about right now. That's the whole demographic of the world then. Yeah. Because shit, because Asian mainstream media is very different from American. Yeah. That's why uh, K-pop is huge. Yep. That's why we see, we hear all of these K-pop celebrities, but mm -hmm. over here it's a little bit different. Like, whoa, really? That they're, they're popping like that? Yeah, yeah. Right. There's there's a theory about K-pop where um one of the K-pop big industries yeah. have mastered clones already. Like they make clones. Yo, so there's a guy named Mark Lee, right? Yeah. So he's supposed to have bare clones, right? Mm -hmm. Cause he manages his time, like his personal time, and all his other acting roles, and mm -hmm. he doesn't get tired at all. Right, oh, and so the, and they seen him yeah. in the streets and like bear, like people that really look like him. So people think there's like multiple versions of him. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, I know it's fucked. Cause, but what if what if it's just somebody that just looks like him? <laughs> no, no. I think in I think in Korea it's it's very common to get plastic, oh, to get surgery. plastic surgery. It's yeah. very common. I I found out one one big one is eyelid. Yeah, so I never they, understood yeah, that. I though. never understood that. It's it, it's like I don't really care. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If I were to get the plastic surgery, I would get these out your eye bags my eye bags because i it's like a trait at this point oh but i swear i swear eye bags are like people want that really i think so okay yeah i but could the, be wrong the, there's there's beauty standards in everywhere in the world like maybe mm -hmm. in korea they don't like eye bags they like the thin no no well what if it comes back in style <laughs> <laughs> that'll be cheese because <laughs> you know how you know how in the 90s they had those really really thin eyebrows they did you don't remember they had like really, really thin eyebrows in, in the 90s, 2000s. I think 2000s actually. My bad. Eyebrows? Yeah, eyebrows. Like pencil thin eyebrows, bro. So I would be popping in that era. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like like thin, thin. like Oh, like super like. Super thin, yeah. Word. Now that it, that now was the style before. Yeah. But then it, it came out of trend. Yeah. So that's what sucks. Like if you do quote unquote body modifications. Yeah. And then shit goes out of style. That's what sucks, bro. Mm -hmm. Imagine. Yeah. You change your face to match a trend that's going on. Yeah, and then and then it just goes out. Of Yo, y'all yeah. don't do that. Like it's not yeah. worth it. That, that's why. That's why there's like um for girls you have makeup, bro. So mm. it's easy if if like the big eyelashes go back into trend, you just put put them on and yeah. take them off. Right, it's easy. You don't have to actually like get 
is there a treatment for that? Like permanent big eyeliner? There, there should I think, be. I think you can get it like threaded in or some shit. Oh, that's it. Something like that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you can get something like that. Right. I don't know. Y'all girls got to tell me because I don't yeah, know. I don't know. One big one though is tattoos. Because remember for a long time, yeah. everybody was getting those, you know, those big tribal tats. Yeah. It's it's not the regular tribal. It's the one that it's like spiky. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's like the 2000s spiky yeah, tribal, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people were getting that because it was quote unquote trendy. Yeah. You notice? Low key like idea. early 2000s. And it was associated with... The Ed Hardy mans, you know yeah, what I'm talking yeah. about? <laughs> like the spiky Ed. hair, Oakley glasses, Ed Hardy t-shirt, and you got a tribal tat. They were they were on that like, every trend from early too. Yeah. Jeff Hardy, Ed Hardy. <laughs> oh no no no! I'm talking Ed Hardy shirts. Oh Ed Hardy shirts. Yeah okay, Ed Hardy yeah. shirts. Yeah. Those are those are coming back in style too. But everything from 2000s is coming back in style. Yeah, that's true. But I don't know if those tats will, because those those tats were associated with the like, the people that had them now, right? Yeah yeah. And. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest like some of them were like a little bit mm -hmm. those the what, what's it called what's it's that show deep. called jersey shore yeah <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? With, with, the, with the gelled hair Ooh. like no no hate but like yeah th that's the that's the that's the aesthetic you're, you're giving off yeah you know what it, the the gangster guy in the in the show had a fire tag oh the dragon the on his face on, no, it went up and yeah. like this that's hard <laughs> that's and, just kind of sick and i wanted to get um because i do taekwondo right so mm -hmm. my main form of attack is my feet yeah right so i remember i was stretching and my master he put his foot out and he had a scorpion on his foot oh like, that's sick on his foot. i'm like that's hard that's like, so I'm, sick like I, i'm never the one to take another guy's art and put it on my own body yeah but i might have to like take that idea and do something with it yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. that's dope but as long as it has meaning to you because yeah. i feel like these trends can come and go mm -hmm. as long as it holds sentimental value to you then it's not gonna it's not gonna be a problem yeah. you know it will always it will always hold its value to you but um one tattoo I really want, yeah, totally I want to get a few tats, yeah. is, because, be okay, before, first of all, <laughs> before I used to preach like, damn, I don't know if I want tats like that. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on it? Like, tats? I don't know. This is, um, I feel like I'm going to just keep my body clean because mm -hmm. that's how God made it, so. Yeah. I don't know. My mom doesn't really f*** the idea of tats, so I'm going to stick with what they, if they don't want me to get it, I won't get it. Word. I, that's, that's my parents with piercings. Like, yeah. you don't get any piercings. But yeah. it's weird, but I can get a lot of tats if I want to. Yeah. So. As a kid, I used to get all the, the permanent tats. I mean, uh, temporary tattoos. Oh, yeah? Like the, the Pokemon ones. <laughs> <laughs> you know the ones you get yeah. in those those coin machines? Yeah. I had a full sleeve going into swim practice. Boom. All these oh. temporary <laughs> tattoos, bro. Pikachu, Bulbasaur, everyone. <laughs> Dog, that made me swim way faster, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> don't kill me. No, but like, I had. I remember I had a permanent tattoo from Imp Inkbox. Yeah. And like, I put it right here. And Loki, it does make you more confident. I don't know why. Makes you more confident. Yeah. I don't know why. I was like, yo, I feel sick. <laughs> so, the tat some of the tattoos I do want to get okay, yeah. are, it's called Sakyan. It's um Thai tattoos, actually, yeah. in Thailand. And the tradition is all of the people, a lot of people in Thailand, mm -hmm. especially the ones that do dangerous jobs, yeah. whether they're in construction, whether they're in the army, whether they're Muay Thai fighters, a lot of Muay Thai fighters have it, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. Especially gangsters too, if they're yeah. dealing with dangerous situations. Mm -hmm. They get this tattoo called the Sakyan. And what it is, it's pretty much a blessing to keep you protected, yeah. right? <laughs> and what's crazy is, right, they go through this whole kind of ritual mm -hmm. where they pray over you as they tattoo you, nah. right? <laughs> they pray over you as they tattoo you. <laughs> and then what they do, they take a machete. See, no, <laughs> no. Take a machete. And after the tattoo is done, they smack your back with a machete, what? like blade edge first <laughs> and see if it cuts you. And if yeah. it doesn't cut you, then the tattoo worked and that you're protected. And if it doesn't, you're just left with a cut. <laughs> yeah, bro. Um, There's also other stories where, there's videos on this too. Okay. If you get tattooed a deity on you, I think yeah. it's it's more of a protection or it has more meaning. Mm -hmm. When you get those deity tattoos, you actually get possessed. Yeah. You get possessed by that, that deity and there's videos, you can see them. They're like moving weird. They're speaking like a different language. They're like, crawling on the floor is so weird bro what the heck so weird. wait where's this originated in thailand in thailand, thailand? yeah oh, shoot. i believe it's it's buddhist it's like um it has something to do with buddhism yeah it's is there it's their ritual uh of tattooing so wait what did you say about the crawling and stuff like that again so you, you start crawling they like they were like crawling on the floor they were like 
They're possessed, bro. They're tweaking. Oh my God. They're tweaking. Have you heard of Bunchin Sama? Nah, what's that? So there's like this Korean like urban legend, right? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a Ouija board. And yeah. it's, it's kind of relates to your story. So you need a partner, a pen, and a paper, right? Mm -hmm. So after you link hands in the middle, you say, Bunchin Sama, Bunchin Sama, I call you, right? Yeah. And then it starts moving, right? And if oh, you let shit, go or, yeah. or tear the paper, you start, you, you're cursed and you get possessed and you start crawling everywhere. You start moving weird. What the f***? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, why do they play this, bro? I don't know. I don't know. I guess, I guess you get, you call it to, I don't know, answer some questions. What the heck? It's like, it's like a Ouija board, except it, I guess it draws your answer. Like, yes. That was fuck, bro. Imagine doing that shit during your jam. <laughs> like, you, oh don't, my God. you don't know the answers. <laughs> you, you, you just hope they, they're like, a, they have a PhD or I something. <laughs> No, but at the same time, you do need a partner. Word. Yeah. So it's like that Charlie. Char it's not like the Charlie Charlie game where you can play. Oh, so by it's yourself. like a, you need a few people yeah, there. Yeah. So me and you have to be like this. I'm not doing that with yeah. you. Oh, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> okay. I have to show you something. Okay. Yeah. So check this out. So this is some crazy shit, bro. I saw this on TikTok, right? Okay, man. <laughs> Look at this video. Okay. So pretty much it's, it's video clips of real possessions of real ghost activity that happened okay. in this person's shop. See this? See this evil yeah, little it thing. It's, that's a pinata, right? Well, mm -hmm. What is that from? So apparently oh, this pinata yes. got possessed. Yeah, this little pinata oh, has been causing scary, bro. nothing but problems. Look, look at what happens. Look what happens. Mario Lara from Mexico in his party store. Where she is, trouble is not far away. Like this is this is that? real footage. Look at all of these things that happen. Or look. Or that. Or what the look, that? look, look, look. I had no This is idea real security camera footage. That it came the from same the place. Store. Until I saw the evil little piñata. After reaching his breaking point with the paranormal activity going on in his store, he ended up having a shaman take this piñata because he believed look, that's look, look. where it all came from. But after What the piñata lit the on fire by itself, bro? <laughs> no. So take this in. So his saying, yeah, they thought it was the pinata that um that was causing all of these paranormal experiences, right? Yeah. So they they took it. A shaman came in and took it, but after he took it, yeah, all of these other things started happening, and it started vamping up. Look at this. Holy smokes! Much worse. This shit went zero the to hundred. Nah. Look, 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 look. That's not. That's nothing. Look at this. Just what? The <laughs> look! 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 <laughs> watch! 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 Things spinning. Uh, How do you fake? That's not fake, bro. <laughs> How do you fake that? Is that real time? Yes, this is real. Look. Workers trying to stock the shelves. Watch this. Objects just flying off the shelves <gasps> at them. Same thing would happen. To bro, look. Here you see <laughs> him and his, I believe, Hold son on. playing toss with a balloon in the store. What the hell is that? <laughs> Guys. Nah, nah, stop, stop. Look, watch, so watch, bro. To get the pinata back from the shaman. Well, during his trip, during his this is all in the same the place. Now, cut to present day. One of Mario's employees volunteered to stay the night at the store. Here, you see him playing a this VR is, game before look, this going is, to bed. Look, watch, watch, watch. Watch in the back left corner of the room. <laughs> what in the world <gasps> is that? This. Damn, oh, this, oh, this is all in the same place, bro. Stack drywall <laughs> and then eventually just full sends it across the room. What the <laughs> eventually what lays is down the ground. Look, look at this. Notice the that shit turned on, bro. That is not it's moving in. Look, turning on. <laughs> nah, nah, that's not its way stop, over stop. to him and then shutting off. <laughs> Mario then went live on Watch YouTube. That. Watch that, the bro. With his viewers, look at this doll in the background. That's what? what did it do? Why is it blinking? It's blinking. <laughs> This is live. A few days later, he's doing work in the back of the store, and this happens. No way it turns Bro. on. Notice the drill is not plugged in. The drill's not plugged and in, nah. and it can't even be act. It can't be powered without being plugged in. No battery, no nothing. Nah, why did you show me that? Damn. Why did you show me that? And I'm gonna be honest, cause I I know I haven't showed you before, cause I know you would be a little bit too scared. Yeah. But I used to go on Reddit mm -hmm. and then see a bunch of real paranormal experiences, real 
footage of stuff happening mm -hmm. there's a lot yeah there's a lot and i'm sure a lot of these are not doctored they're not fake yeah especially the ones where it comes from a story of multiple things happening at the same place yeah that shit is real yeah no the fact that this is all one warehouse right mm -hmm. nah. it's all from one store did they close the store or is it still open i don't know i don't know i, I have to i have to do more research into that but like <laughs> please tell me they closed it down bro <laughs> Because no way it started burning up that's, randomly. That's so fucking... So the, the shaman came in, took the pinata out because they thought the pinata is causing it, which yeah. they seen it like flopping around and shit. Like, yo, why is it moving like that, right? Yeah, yeah. Took it out. Mm -hmm. Then everything went zero to 100. Shit started burning up by itself. Yeah. Things are flying off the shelves. You see the TV turn on? What the hell, bro? Because, well, yeah, what if that, that pinata that they took out, you said, right? Mm. Was like the master spirit pinata. And then all the pinatas are now moving because that's their master. It's gone now. Oh. So that's why you can never like take something away from a store. Yo. No, that's it's it's like um I don't know if you've seen The Conjuring. You know the Conjuring? Yeah, I know about the Conjuring, yeah. There's there's another there's another movie and it has Annabelle, the things from the Conjuring, La Lorna, all yeah. of the. It's you know how it's connected. Mm -hmm. There was a basement with all of these possessed things. Yeah, you I watched. Seen we watched La Lorna together. No, we didn't. I don't watch it with you. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, never mind. But um, all of those things are together. Yeah, and if you touch one, everything activates. everything else moves. Yeah, because what what's the main reason why the all of these things like all these horrid things start? Because someone took the doll for, they did something they were supposed Annabelle to Annabelle from the glass yeah okay boom you're not so allowed to do that mm. so people are so stupid that just leave it alone bro yeah because we, we don't have to f with these spirits if we don't want to that's true we don't have to go out our way <laughs> see because like i still want to do these ghost adventures but stuff like this that's why i'm doing my homework first yeah. like i don't know what i'm getting into i want to know what i'm getting into right away yeah we can be hypocritical but like at the same time we got to do our homework because yeah. we can't just go into some random place just for content. Especially if it's some next stuff that can cause a whole chain of events. Yeah. Oh my God. And especially in, in, in other countries too. Yeah. Imagine no, that's now that's, that's crazy because we can bring it back with us that's crazy what if oh man what if there was some next demonic shit in let's say asia and yeah. then we we brought it over to to north america yeah and that shit spread like a virus what if there's like a a ghost virus a ghost virus. like not not virus but like you know what i mean like it's, I get it. it's contagious in the sense where you get cursed they get cursed they get cursed yeah and then everybody's just like messed up oh what God. if mm -hmm. that happened in history already imagine during the black plague yeah. in europe mm -hmm. everybody was affected all of these terrible things were happening and what if that happened because maybe there's some stories like that too where they they dealt with some stuff they weren't supposed to yeah black magic whatever it may be mm -hmm. and it caused all of those chain of events and all of that terrible things happen. It just spread. Yeah. Oh my God. There's this cursed road in, in, in Korea too. Mm -hmm. I forgot what it's called. I think it's Gayu Road. Yeah. And then so that road is known to get really foggy. Mm. Right? And and that whenever um it, that road gets really foggy and you drive through it, you if you turn, you can see a person with no eyes. What like the their fuck? eyes are gouged out. What the hell? And you can only see when it's really foggy and you can look to your right and left. Yo. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> So imagine driving, you're like, oh, it's foggy. And you know the road's curse is like, ah, oh, man, oh, there she is. <laughs> there she is. All right. Bro, what do you, like, at that point, you're, you're, gonna, you're just gonna, like, double take, what the yeah. fuck? But what can you do, bro? What can you do? Honestly, you can't do nothing. Nothing, bro. I remember, I, I think I told this story already, but when you're at the stoplight, my, yeah. my cousin was at a red stoplight, and he saw an old lady walking up the car. But the, the stoplight is red. <laughs> <laughs> and you're waiting, you're waiting. Would you I would go. I don't care about the red light. I'm nah, going. Nah, that's true. Because what if you waited longer? Knock, knock. <laughs> 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 Hello? You crack it a bit? Hello? Her mouth opens like some Hello? next black smoke comes out. <laughs> nah, you can never do that. See, like I get, like even when you're in a, in a quiet room, right? Yeah. And something from, I guess the counter, like a book drops. Oh. I'm going upstairs. <laughs> that's... Huh? Like I'm going upstairs because we don't know for sure, especially those things where it happens out of nowhere. Like, let's say, let's say you're you're doing the dishes, right? Yeah, yeah. And you hear a sound, mm -hmm. fam. There's sometimes I do feel like a sense of oh shit. What if what if there's actually a spirit? What yeah. if there's something? What if there's something there that's trying to communicate with me? Mm -hmm. And I think is when we give that attention to it, yeah, it becomes activated. <laughs> so maybe maybe the way to protect yourself. Yeah from any of these experiencing things happening to you. Because look, 
all of the people that don't believe in ghosts, mm-hmm. they never get affected they because they don't believe it. They, they don't. They don't entertain it. You're so right, because fam, I sometimes I'll just be sitting there and I'll freak myself out by, mm-hmm. by having these thoughts. Yeah, right? and I'll be like, yo, what if, what if at the end of that tunnel or someone's? Oh, and the biggest thing, what if someone's following me? Right? Yeah. When you go into your basement and like you turn off the lights, what if someone's behind me? No. Oh, shit. Number one thing. <laughs> but but if I don't care, I'll walk up normally with the lights off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. No, the worst one, I hate it is because when I think about it, when I'm washing my hair and I have to close my eyes. <laughs> really? That's a thing for you? <laughs> yeah. Where? You never got that when you're no, little? No, no. Yo, sometimes, bro, I close my eyes and I wash my hair. Because <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I gotta open my eyes right away because yeah. there might be a ghost in front of me or some shit. Where's, where, what, what did that originate from? Because I didn't watch that movie. That's why I'm not affected by it no i don't think it originated from anything that's yeah, just like a like, fear isn't it like um uh jason like jason comes in your shower and merges you while you shower oh no that's um it's saw no 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 it's a really old movie yeah it's by alfred hitchcock psycho psycho yeah it's psycho that's, that's where the they one. that's where they get it from though but that's not what i could i never watched that movie, oh yeah oh. right but like it, just for me it's it's the <laughs> fact of being blind yeah yeah you know that's so scary facts that's <laughs> <laughs> sometimes in my washroom like okay you see how the shower is behind me right yeah and the, the shower door shower is closed sometimes i'll be washing i'll be brushing my teeth i'll, I'll whip it open I'll, like, Word, someone yeah? There? Yeah, I'll go back i'll go back and just watch my mirror <laughs> I'm that paranoid sometimes, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna leave something in there for you. No, stop, stop. <laughs> Hell no. I'm gonna tell your sister we're gonna prank you one day. Hell no. Have you seen anything like really like paranormal like that that's recently happened or something? Recently like happened? Like oh, like a shoe dropping bro. or something. Okay, like so that? recently. Oh, no Wait, you have a story. Recently, this is, but like I don't know, I don't know for sure. Maybe it's just me like <laughs> being weird. Yeah. I was at a park, mm-hmm. and across from the park, there's this. It's kind of like a a memorial ground yeah. because one of the first few pioneers and one of the first pioneers, in yeah, they have their graves across from the park. Oh yeah, yeah. and it's like a little clearing with some grass cut. Mm-hmm. I was sitting, I looked over, and I swear to God, no. <laughs> I swear I saw like like cloth or like clothing walk walk through what? and walk past a tree. I'm like. What, what is that right so i because because it passed it passed the tree yeah so i walked over it and i'm like trying to look over i'm trying to like look through Wait, what was it what was it nothing's there bro what <laughs> nothing's there no no reflection there's no like garbage bag nothing nah no cloth or whatever maybe i just saw it in my head but yeah. i saw like move i'm what what is that you dead ass dead ass bro what <laughs> well, was this in the morning or night no this is during day this is broad daylight bro oh this is God. broad daylight so it's clear in the day yeah it's clear in the day and it's weird because that spot has the tombstones the right tombstone. there yeah yeah the tombstones nah <laughs> what no lie when i asked that question i i thought you were gonna like nah i don't have any story <laughs> that was that's true story that's true story. this literally happened this literally happened like two days ago like other day what <laughs> I, I feel like that happens a lot during like imagine you're working at um one of those uh graveyards yeah as a worker i feel like you see a lot of that though mm. my my uncle said he told me a similar story actually yeah this was this is also but it's it's, it's a little bit farther down the road mm-hmm. there's a huge cemetery there's a huge cemetery yeah. and he said he saw like a man perched up i think i told this before but he's perched up on the tombstone like like a bird <laughs> yeah, dead ass. Like he was standing on the tombstone, and then like you know the Spider Man pose. Yeah, he was d- doing that. He's doing the Spider Man pose like on the tombstone, and he saw what he was and he saw by? he saw it driving by. He turns back, is gone, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Nah, I didn't know that our city was like this, bro. I think everywhere around the world is like that. Honestly, I, guess, bro. I, I think it's it's just the people that are looking for it. Yeah. If you're not looking for it, shit, maybe some. Some things happen when you're paying attention. Yeah. Like, look look at that video we just watched. The uh, Some other things, they happen when they weren't paying attention. The guy in the live stream, yeah. the doll behind him was blinking. Uh-huh. He didn't notice that. A lie? <laughs> it's like, this has been moving the whole time type shit. Oh, my God. I would never think. But, yo, you know how I'm scared of, like, elevators and shit? Yeah. So Wait, why? Why are you scared of elevators? You know why I'm scared of elevators? I don't remember why. It's just, I just don't like claustrophobic and, like, I oh. always think it's going to drop. Okay, okay. Right? Yeah. So, there's another story in Korea, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Where there's this like elevator guy, this like another guy, urban legend or elevator guy. Mm-hmm. So there's this lady just chilling on the elevator going up one night, right? Yeah. Guy comes in, he goes into the corner and faces the corner. So he's not even facing you. Yeah. Right? And all you, he asks, what floor are you going to? 
And the lady's just standing there like, um, 13? He's like, oh, I'm just below it. I'm in the 12th, right? Mm -hmm. So right right before um, he exits and the door's almost closed, he comes back in, stabs the lady, runs out. Is this true? Is this true story? I think this is a true story based on a true story. He's like a killer? Yeah. Damn. That's why whenever you see a guy, fam, if I'm on the elevator, if have you ever had those weird experiences on the elevator with weird people? Never, never. Loki, I've had one, but it, it was just like, I don't know, because he was hugging the corner a bit weird. I'm like, uh, okay. yeah, because when you're in an elevator, it's just you two. It's just you two. You're, you know, you can't move anywhere. So if you wanted to get murdered, that's a spot. That's a spot. <laughs> Real shit. Like you have nowhere to go. Nowhere as soon to as those, go. Those things close. That's why it's a very dangerous thing, especially for girls. Like if you see someone sketch in the elevator yeah. and you're by yourself, maybe it's best to take the next one, you know, because you never know. They might follow you to your room, whatever it may be. Yeah. You're by yourself. You're in that tight place you know yeah. that's why they never put the whole the whole you know the hotel key cards that's what? why they never put the door number on the cards oh, so, so they can't follow you back yeah that's very smart because if they did that'd be so fun imagine you drop your or they they take it from your purse yeah they follow you and they, they see your room number holy shit you, you know those pickpockets yeah just tap you on the side boom it's gone yeah they follow you to your room open the room boom those, the, over yeah th- those guys in um I think uh, a big scam in Europe yeah. is, okay, the guy will come up to you, spill coffee on you while he's helping you clean. Mm. All gone. Yeah. All gone. Yeah, that that happens a lot. Even in like the Philippines, there's, um, there's one in the Philippines, my dad was telling me, there would be a kid mm-hmm. or a little girl asking oh, yeah. for help. Yep. Run around the corner, takes you to the alley, oh. boom, 12 mans deep. Oh, with, shit, Like baseball mind. bats, chains whatever it may be oh, gunpoint yeah run your shit oh fuck. <laughs> I, I, I was gonna say i relate to that one but i don't that's never happened like, i know the kids coming up to you but there's another one um in paris i think mm-hmm. a really popular one where a guy will take your hand he's like sir 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 i'll make you a bracelet real quick yeah. right so he, you're gonna help him make the bracelet literally oh. help you and once he puts it on you he's gonna be like okay that, that'll be blah 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 and if you if you deny it they're like yo oh. what the fuck and there's other guys making bracelets yeah, so yeah. they're all on a team they're gonna circle you. Oh, f- that's like um, that's like the you know the shoe cleaners in the mall. Oh my god! <laughs> I got caught, bro. You got caught? I got caught slipping. This is this is when I did. I, this is the first time I ever seen a shoe cleaner. Yeah. Same. First of oh all, my god. first time I ever seen a shoe cleaner. First of all, brings me over. He's like, "Oh, yo, nice kicks, bro." I'm like, "Ah oh, man, uh, he got you. me. He got me." So I, I was wearing my shadows. They were dirty. Yeah. Because they were my beaters. You know this. Yeah. Oh my god. So I'm like, they're dirty. He brings them over. I'm doing, he's doing the cleaning. Yeah. He's asking me all these questions. Oh, like how many sneakers do you have? Oh, I like those pair. And that's where he gets you, bro. On, on the relatability side, yeah. this is before I read the 48 Laws of Power. Of fam. course, yeah, of course. <laughs> this is before I learned about people. Mm-hmm. When, when they get relatability about you, they're e- so easily manipulatable yeah. and they can sell you anything. Yeah. And bro, he really made me felt like he really he was your boy. Yeah, he really made me feel I have to buy this now. Yeah. Almost it, it, it felt like almost bad manners to not to, to buy not, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like a respect thing. I'm like, damn, I gotta I gotta buy it now. That, that's exactly how it works, bro. Mm. And like those go for a lot too, like 110 for like a brush and some soap, bro. Yeah, bro. Wait, how much was it? For me, it was 110 plus tax. Damn, did you buy? I had to. I, I bought one, but I think I paid, I think it was like 60. 60. It, was so it wasn't like, terrible. But, it wasn't terrible. But that guy was so nice to me that I had to buy the deluxe package, bro. Like that guy. What? Box. <laughs> I know at the end of the day he does not care about me, but he made me feel like he was my boy. Yeah, if and especially when they only clean one sneaker. Yeah, and then like, all right, I'll clean the other sneaker, but you gotta buy it. Yeah, oh, I fuck, know. I don't want to walk around with one dirty, dirty sneaker. Yeah, I know, but that that's the whole thing, like the the deception shit. Mm-hmm. You saw that in Squid Game too, like Sangwoo, he gave the bus fare to Ali. Later on, boom, took oh, off. Yeah, it took off, bro. That's bro. Yeah. Well. What sucks is those smart people, they turn into evil people yeah. when they're put in situations like they have no other choice. Yeah. Like that guy, he's so smart, but that's why smart people, they're so dangerous. Yeah, they are. They very, are. very, very dangerous. Mm-hmm. But it's good when they're treated well and they're not in positions of scarcity. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? When they're when they're in desperate mode, anything goes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's for anybody. And, and, and bro, I think saying who was the most realistic character because fam, if I was in the game, yeah. I'm doing whatever it takes to win. So even mm. though people are mad at him for doing that, realistically, if you were, if that was life or death, you would do the same thing. Yeah. 
but but there there are people with pure hearts you know yeah. you know there yeah. there there are people that cuz it's hard right mm-hmm. like you don't see somebody and tell them your whole story and then now you have to back up you might feel a way to be honest yeah, i know cuz we don't know until we're in that situation and i do kind of feel them switching sides like finding compassion through it yeah. right because fam that guy that he betrayed was a, a stranger that he knew for at least like i like 5 days bro yeah. max he doesn't yeah. even know their story so why am i why am i risking my life for him it's yeah you it, feel me i'm not saying i wouldn't do the same but it gets deeper when it's like okay say me and you are in the final game mm-hmm. i'm on my back right here you you can go and get the money right there you stabbing me or not <sighs> yeah it's tough bro it's tough, man. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> it's tough, bro. It's tough. If I was in a bad position, I, I had. I'm sorry, yeah, it, fam, but you're dead. Because if fam. you're in debt, if you're if you're in desperate mode, anything goes, bro. Anything goes. If it's life or death, or if it's like family member, yeah. you know, yeah. it's tough. You just, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do whatever, whatever it takes it necessary takes. to do it. Yeah, and that's realistic. Mm-hmm. Like you can't, I can't get bad at you for that. Yeah, like shit. <laughs> but you just gotta hide it that's why that that guy was smart because he hid it what do you mean he hid it he hid it he didn't he didn't show he's that type of deceptive person oh yeah yeah in the beginning especially yeah but as the viewers as the viewers you knew it from the first game he was like hey don't don't go to the, the umbrella yeah because we knew everything we knew everything because we, mm-hmm. we, we it was c- kind of weird because we acted like the vips too because we're just enjoying this whole whole game yeah. right so mm-hmm. we're the vips to the vip mm-hmm. right so it's kind of weird do you think because Squid Game is very violent. Yeah. Right. Do you think violence will ever take a backseat in media and culture? No. Never. No. Right. Because I had I had this feeling when all of this cancel culture was coming out yeah. and they hated all of these things that are happening, especially like gun violence, whatever it may be. I'm like, damn. Does that mean they're not gonna be making violent movies? That does that mean they're gonna they're gonna say no more of this, no more of that? Yeah. But no, it's not true. We still enjoy that shit, yeah. which is dope. Which is dope because I still love it. <laughs> yeah. Isn't your favorite like Kill Bill? And that yeah. Was, My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> That's more blood than Squid Game. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But yeah, I was getting worried. Yeah. But you seen Suicide Squad? A bit of it. Yo, the new one. The new one. The new one. No, I haven't. The new one. <laughs> Lots of it. That's it's dead ass like a Tarantino movie, bro. What? It's dead ass like a Tarantino. It's yeah. bare blood. I, I go back to like the movies I really enjoy, mm-hmm. and always there's at least some type of violence in it, like Karate Kid, uh, Midsummer. Yeah. <laughs> even though Midsummer is not even supposed to be violent, like it's disturbing violence, mm-hmm. and it's Good Game. Like those are my top three right now. Favorites. Um, like favorites, favorite, yeah, favorite. favorite. current favorites. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn, because I don't know, bro. I think I think there's something quote unquote romantic or poetic something yeah. poetic about violence there's something very poetic about it because look at william shakespeare they've been celebrating it for centuries you're right you're right tragedy yeah for centuries right like the pill and then she dies not even it wasn't a pill it was just, they get stabbed to death oh, or whatever yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. romeo juliet hamlet all, almost all of william shakespeare's most famous plays Art. all have to do with violence yeah so i think there's no way you can cancel that mm-hmm. and what's dope is we see it getting vamped up and vamped up more now. Yeah. Because there, there was kind of that stage, you know, when the, can, what, like what I was saying, the cancel <laughs> culture was coming to its peak. Yeah, yeah. Like, things were getting canceled. Like, Damn, we're not going to see all, any of these like crazy movies anymore. It never got canceled. It never got canceled, which is dope. Yeah. I'm so happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> and I like how they always preach like, don't ever resort to violence, but we see it in so much media that I guess like shit, maybe they're trying to turn us more violent. I don't know. I don't know. Do you think, do you think that, that wave of violent movies has an agenda behind it or no it's just for fun i think i think it's a it's a mix of the violent video games mm. and the violent movies too that this whole social like media like yeah they do mm. I, that's just my that's my opinion i think i said this before but what if you know you know how i said there's so many sci-fi movies about aliens and they desensitize us to the fact of aliens right mm-hmm. what if something's going to happen let's say an apocalypse where we all have to fight each other for natural resources, basic things to survive. Yeah. What if all of these things coming out, like Walking Dead, Squid Game, is all desensitizing us oh. and getting us ready. And training us? To be part of that. Yo. Because <laughs> fam, you, you, if um, a zombie apocalypse comes, mm. right? Fam, we have no ex- idea, but we relate it to Walking Dead. Exactly. We're like, oh, I know what to do now. Exactly. Low key, that's the best way to prepare <laughs> your Tuesday. population or prepare your people for situations like that is to put it in media that they want to watch already. Because if you put out a PSA, yeah. just a boring ass PSA. No one's going to. Okay, if this happens, you guys got to do this. Mm-hmm. Nobody's going to want to watch that. Yeah. I mean, but if you sneak it in 
into media movies television whatever yeah. which they're already taking part of Shit. you can get that message across, across yeah without worrying about Oh, are people gonna watch this? Nah, everybody's gonna watch it because it's popular. That's some deep shit, Loki. Nah, that's that some deep shit. <laughs> that is holy shit. Yeah, because uh, uh, imagine the guys who don't watch movies. They're like, oh, oh man. It's like who's never watched Walking Dead? They're like, yo, they're what not do I ready. do? But the guy, <laughs> the uh, uh, movie watchers, they're like, yo, I know yeah. what to do. Get in the car. <laughs> we're going to Costco. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Shit like that. And I used to do this as a kid too. Mm -hmm. Whenever I watch something, and you know those little like um those tricks, kind of. Whether it may have been a sleight of hand oh, or yeah. like a mind trick or like just a way to get past somebody, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to take those things and keep it in the back of my head just in case I need it later in life. And for a lot of people, this yeah. may not be the best way to do it. But when I was, when I was in high school, mm -hmm. if I wanted to practice game, I want to get better at my game. Yeah. I used to watch hella rom-coms oh. to get good at communication. <laughs> nah, but rom-coms is cringy game though. It it's is. Like it is, but but that's what we're used to. I guess. No, no, no. But listen, listen. Yeah. You're, tell, you're telling me that wouldn't be... Because a rom-com in, in of itself is like the perfect romance. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, perfect. That's like, that's like a storybook, whatever. Yeah. Right? People want that. Mm -hmm. And if people want that and you can feed them that, yeah. this is the market. <laughs> if you have the supply, yeah. the demand... The demand is proper. Come on, man. That's, that's how why, it works. Yeah, that's why all the boys I never... Or what was that? To all the boys? Yeah, had four episodes, had four seasons, bro. <laughs> <laughs> four movies. I don't think... They, they could have not just dragged it after the second one, but like they're like, let's just make, let's make two more. And that's it. When I'm really thinking about it now, like realistically, man, imagine that shit all happens. Never. That, that shit would never happen. You break yeah. up and then he's like, yo, come, come to outside. And then he has a whole poem for you. And then you turn around. No, but, but it may, it may sound crazy, but maybe there are some stories like that. We just never hear about it. Yeah. Cause nobody wants this. Nobody, not a lot of people want to say their spectacular story to a public stage, yeah. even though some next level, like movie production shit happens to them. <laughs> Like we still won't hear about it. I guess. Unless it's popular. I don't know. I guess, I guess the movies that I just really like have a good message at the end of it. Like mm. the Squid Game one had the money doesn't buy you happiness, right? Yeah. Because after after um the guy won, bro was sad. Like he had no one left. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Yeah, because he lost people, bro. Yeah. He lost if if you lose people at the sake of money, yeah. then it wasn't worth it. It wasn't. In my opinion. But if you do it for a different reason, mm -hmm. Then you might find happiness out of it. Depends. Yeah. It depends what you're going to do with it. Yeah, that's true. I have one more theory about Squid Game. Okay, let me hear it. Okay, so there's a theory that the old man was Jihan's father. Oh, I, I think I heard this heard one. This yeah. One? Okay, so when uh, Jihan was in line, mm -hmm. he was like, oh, can I get um chocolate milk? Because I don't like the the regular milk. Mm. And then after they were talking, the old man was like, you probably got spanked as a kid. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Right, and then and then Jihan's like, "How'd you know?" He's like, "My son did too." Right, Ooh. and then in, in the marble game, he was like, "Yo, I used to." The old man was like, "I used to live in like alleyways like this." Mm -hmm. Jihan was like, "I noticed so that." Did I? Yeah. yeah. And then here's the crazy thing: at the end, when remember he has dementia, yeah, and he's like, "Ah, uh, Jihan, is it is it the twenty fourth? Because my my son's birthday is coming up uh, soon." Mm -hmm. And then Jihan, when he goes into his bank and puts in the date yeah. of his birthday, it's the twenty sixth. Yeah. So he did all this just to find a son that's my theory mm, what if what if he wanted him to win to help his mother because he knew she was gonna die she knew he was sick or she was sick and didn't have a way of giving the money oh. to her finding jihan yeah and giving him the money to, to save her would have been the only way oh shit because what if some next stuff happened where the father left right yeah yeah and the wife never wants to see him again mm -hmm. but he knows she's in need the way to help her would have been through him Yo, that's a good Anna. That's <laughs> right? a sick Anna. You just make that up? Yeah, I just made that up right now. That's fire, bro. Because nah. she was sick. That was the whole point of... Yeah. That was almost the whole point of Squid Game. That story, the main character, he was trying to help his mother. Yeah. And it sucks because he would he didn't do it in time. I don't know. I don't know. I just I just hope they make a season two. I don't think so. I think that's it for them. Because uh, because uh, did you hear the rumors about uh, Jenny from Blackpink is going to make uh, appearance, her first acting role in season two? But I heard, I heard the director doesn't want to do season two. That's what I'm saying. No, but like at the same time, it's like, man, you got to after it's such a big thing like this. Because mm -hmm. fam, if you've seen at the end credits, I don't yeah. know why, but Jenny's name was there. From Blackpink? From Blackpink. Maybe she was in the, did they play music from? No, they didn't. 
That's why they're, they're like, okay, Jenny from season two will replace Sabiuk because, fam, everyone loves Sabiuk. Yeah. For her to be replaced, you need to go all out. Yeah. What other star can you replace it with her? Jenny from Blackpink. Okay, okay, that makes sense. And Jenny is not even like, you can't, it's still below. Like, mm-hmm. Sabiuk is a goat. You feel me? If, if they do if they do a movie, or I mean a series, yeah. that continues off of it, they got to do it on a different like side. It, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't be the games. Is yeah. what I'm saying. It shouldn't be just like season one. Yeah. I think it's got to be a whole different story where it's like the revenge story. Yeah. Isn't that what he's doing? I guess so. But I don't know. I don't know. Because because the, the director himself said like they don't know if they want to do season two. Yeah. I guess. But but you know why the guy dyed his hair red, right? Why? You don't know that? Why? Because the staff is red. The players are blue. The, what, what does that have to do with it though? Well, okay, bro. So so the thing goes, it's like, you know, the salesman who's, who slaps you? Yeah. And the subway, he's like, okay, choose a card. Is it either red or blue? If you choose blue, you're going to become a player. If you choose red, you're going to become a staff. Uh. At, at the end, he randomly looks at a picture with a dye and he dyed his hair red. Mm. He's going to go back as staff. I, this is what I thought. Yeah. I thought when he saw the picture, the yeah. hairstyle reminded him of Sabuk. She didn't have red hair though. No, but the hairstyle itself, it was kind of that like the shortcut with the bangs. That's what I thought. Really? Not that it was red, but it was just that hairstyle. That's what I thought because the girl looked like her. Oh, no. So he looked up He looked up at that picture because it reminded him of that girl. That's what I thought. Oh, no. Because that, that's the deeper theory because they're red. Because remember when he was in the airport? Yeah. The guys were like, don't overthink it. Just hop on your plane. He doesn't go on his plane. Mm-hmm. He goes back. So he's going to go back to the game as a, as a staff. Mm. Or maybe he dyed it red because he was a clown for playing that game. Uh, I, w- I would play that shit <laughs> No fuck yes, that bro For a certain amount of money And I'm like in debt Yes I'm killing that shit Clown I'm like, Red light <laughs> I'm posing too Cause I'm mad competitive I'm a- hitting poses Nah yo Cause I heard um, There's this guy on TikTok You saying <laughs> when, when they when they play that game yeah. They don't They don't sing that song Slow They sing that shit fast Oh fast <laughs> So it's nothing like It's nothing like the actual thing So in real life They go ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> So it's bare fast, bro. It's not. It's not slow. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Maybe I have to. <laughs> but yeah, red light, green light. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. I don't know, bro. My whole. I just hope they make a season two. Mm-hmm. That's my thing. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. But do you think a season two could ruin it if it's yeah, shit? Yeah, hundred percent. That's that's the problem. Because when you have such a masterpiece and it's popular at a global scale, yeah. you really got to be careful with your art, right? Yeah. Looking at it as as like a painter. Mm -hmm. Let's say you do a painting. Would you want to add other things in the painting? Hmm, Maybe not. People like it already. Yeah. Right? And leave it as the masterpiece it is. Mm -hmm. Because if you do add some stuff onto it, it kind of ruins the whole shit. Shit, yeah. And and the director, I heard that he made this in 2008. Yeah, I heard that. And it took... from personal experiences mm-hmm. you know why why because 2008 what happened the economic crash oh. people were very very desperate for money they will do anything to get money at that time there was a lot of debt happening yeah. there was a lot of the housing market crash remember yeah. the stock market yeah so that's when he made it because he started seeing people and their desperation for money uh, damn thank loki <laughs> good thing that happened because a masterpiece came out of it yeah but a lot of a lot of these stories they come from true experiences yeah but not necessarily like the whole not the plot itself <laughs> yeah like not the, actual, the plot but the the feeling yeah the feeling is translated into those those movies into that art just yeah. as a painting just as a picture they have a feeling they express it through that mm-hmm. and they can tell that story within it so squid game in a sense is telling that story of the t- 2008 economic depression oh shit that's why that's why it's so much better because if you look at a Rotten Tomatoes, yeah, that's why they give certain movies like a hundred percent, seventy percent, even though they're like a casual good movie. Yeah, yeah. If some things are casual good movie, what takes it to the next level is those like deeper meanings yeah. and those breakdowns. Okay, yeah. Because when I was looking at it, I'm like, yo, this got a hundred percent. I was like, I've never low key. I've never. Whenever I watch shows, like there's barely any a hundred. Yeah, because it takes those breakdowns of it and yeah. like. That's what makes it better. You know what I mean? Like when you listen to a song and then you hear the lyric. And you relate to it. yeah. And you relate to it. It makes so much sense. And then if you relate to it and it has a double meaning to it or has a story attached to it, that's what sells. Yeah. Because storytelling always sells. Facts. I know. And relatability too. Like I've seen so much TikToks. It's like, oh, in the Squid Game with $2,000 worth of student debt. And just kill me, fam. (laughs) (laughs) Which is but at the same time, it's funny because everyone can relate. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, would you rather do Hunger Games or Squid Game? Oh, that's... 
Squid Game, 100%. Squid Game? Yeah. Cause I don't think so. Because remember, I told you I yeah. would only die if we're hand on hand fighting. But if yeah. it's a controlled, oh, like certain games we play, I'll see. For that. me, it's the opposite, bro. Because right. I rather do the hand on hand to hand combat rather than the games. Because I don't know what the hell they're gonna pull out of their ass. No, nah, because the the Squid Game is simple. It's kid games. You just have to really lock in. You know, mm, I don't you know, know bro. In, bro. It's just stopping and starting, stopping and starting, carving out shit. Hunger Games. You could die like from an axe, from a from an arrow. No, but what, what if you play a game that's like you, you remember in class where they do the multiplication <laughs> tables? <laughs> like they, you know those cards? You ever had that? You ever had that, yeah, that yeah. moment in your class? They have like the multiplication <laughs> cards, and the teacher goes, "All right, you versus you. Ready, set, go." All right. And I would always stand there in my boots. I'm like, Ugh. Uh, nah, and then they know. just get it right there. I'm like, oh, I would have died right there then. Yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like Squid Game is more of uh, it, it puts you in a more like. Uh, uh, what do you call this? Not a violent situation. Like you're surrounded by blue, like all I the guess. nice colors, shit like that. But it's still it it's it still messes with their head because it's still a um, life or death situations. A lie. I don't know. If if I'm gonna go to war, I'm going to war, fam. That's it. Like I don't wanna <laughs> I don't want it packaged any different. I, I mean know. if I'm dying, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying in the presence of Sabiok and not Katniss. Katniss, bro. <laughs> Sabiok. <laughs> you know no, cause if, if the rules are basic to me, Hunger Games, the rules are basic. It's like it's not basic. Yes, though. it is. It's, it's basic. Last to person the, to live. It's That's basic it. Basic to the point where it's like not basic at all. Cause anything could happen. Anything could happen in Squid no, Game. No, it can't. It's controlled with members that shoot you if you try to like kill others. No, but it it's like the games itself. You don't know what game you're gonna play next. <laughs> uh, I guess, man. Oh, actually, you know, there's a theory what? that in the beginning of Squid Game, yeah. when they first get into that facility, uh -huh. all the games they played oh, yeah. were actually on the wall. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and they're covered by the beds. Yeah, and they, they got covered by the beds yeah, eventually. So, so when there's like three people left, they're like, oh, it was here the whole time. Yeah. yeah. So they could have just looked at the wall and like, oh, shit, maybe we're playing that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What do you think is more strategic, Squid Game or, or Hunger Game? Strategic? Like you got to think strate more strategic. I think it's Squid Game. No, but Squid Game is random at it's still random because you don't know what game. But you can still like make connection, make um thing. Cause it I, okay, okay, I'll I'll give you this. Mm -hmm. Squid Game is strategic, more strategic because there's other games. Yeah, Hunger Games because is there's other one, games. One game. Yeah. Shit, I don't know. Because in a sense, Squid Game isn't one game. Yeah, that's right? there's like a whole bunch of different things. So if I die, I'd rather go out playing a bunch of games than one game. You feel me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> have fun while it lasted, yeah. like the old guy. <laughs> Yo, I have another theory about Squid Game. Though. Okay, okay, man. So. I would I, like right when I saw it, I'm like, damn, this gotta be it. Yeah. So, you know, you ever heard of like subconscious marketing? Like, you'll yeah. see things that remind you of other things, right? Yeah, yeah. What if Squid Game was actually an ad for PlayStation? <gasps> oh, yeah. if you think about it, subconsciously, <laughs> every time we saw the triangle, the circle, the square, square. what did it remind you of? PlayStation. Family. PlayStation. The controller. And what does PlayStation have to do with Squid Game? Yeah. Games of violence, oh. playing games, shooting games, whatever it may be. Yeah. It all ties together, bro. Oh my god. And it's and it's an Asian, it's an Asian company. Mm -hmm. Cause Sony PlayStation. Yeah. Right? Oh, that makes sense. It all ties it because I saw them like, okay, that's what they're doing. Yeah. That's what they're doing. Loki it might even be funded by PlayStation or Sony. Oh, at the end you see bing, bing, you know. The wait, wait, wait. The phones they had. Did they have Xperia phones? Oh, yo, I think they did, right? Did they, did they? I think they did. I think they had Sony Xperia phones because they didn't have iPhones. If they did, bro, I'm on the, I'm on the yeah, ass, bro. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. That's crazy. Because they didn't have, they didn't have no regular, it wasn't like an was Android. It, wasn't it like a Nokia though? Wasn't it like a, it's like a black, ah, oh, we have to. We no, have to I think it's Xperia, Sony Xperia phones. Because no that makes sense now. Because if it is funded by, by PlayStation, yeah. they would have those phones. Okay, so the, we just have to go look back at that then. Because look, look, the triangle, the circle, the square, Come on, yeah, man. Yeah. Why would they put why would they yeah. put that on the mask? Oh shit. That's a pretty that's a good one. <laughs> Nobody said that I just made that up on the spot, yeah, actually. Yeah. That's good. Should we end it off that one? I will end it there. Yeah. So thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to click the links in our bio, check out the vlogs, check out our clothing brands, yep. Instagram, follow all up, all that. All right, jumpers jump out. Deuces.